you with today is 1 Kings uh, chapter 18. And I love this portion so much. It's the story of Elijah with the prophets of Baal. Um, but it's right after the fire had come down and, and consumed the entire sacrifice and the stones and the water and everything. So he had this amazing victory. But then he's with King Ahab, who he had just defeated. And there hadn't been rain in the land. There was a drought for a very long time. And he had just had this amazing, amazing victory. And he told the king, I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. And there was no rain. There hadn't been rain. There was no sound. Nobody else heard the sound of rain. But that was the word of the Lord because Elijah was a prophet. And that was the word of the Lord that was declared. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. And so he told Ahab, get ready because it's going to rain. And so he immediately went up to the top of Mount Carmel and began to pray. It says he put his head in his knees. Now, I don't know if it was because he was afraid to look at the sky that hadn't had rain in so long or if he was just in deep, fervent prayer. I'm not sure which one it was, but it says that he had his legs in his knees and he told his servant to go look go look and see if there's rain. Go look, see if there's rain on the horizon. And there was no rain. The servant came back and said, I don't see anything. How many times in our lives has God spoken something to us and we've declared it boldly. We've even been brave enough to say it in the face of everyone else. And yet we go look and there is no sign of it happening. Not any sign at all. Well, that's exactly what happened to Elijah right here. And man, he had just called fire out of the sky, yet he wasn't seeing anything at this turn. So isn't that just like our lives sometimes when we just call things forth and we go and look and we see no sign at all? Well, that happened not once, twice. He sent his servant back, go look again, go back and look again, go back and look again. Nothing. His servant came back, nothing. All right, at this point, I don't know, he, he might be feeling discouraged, but yet he just saw this amazing miracle. So maybe it was just confidence and rising up inside of him. No, I know what God just did. And I know when he speaks, his word is true. It tells us in the Bible that his word will accomplish what it is sent to do. When we do decree the word of the Lord, we can be confident that it will do what it is sent to do. It will prosper in the thing. The word always, 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 always works. So here's Elijah knowing that the word always works, but not seeing it. So he sent his servant back even a third time. Now it's the third time. Go back and look again. And still he came back with a report. There's nothing. I don't see anything on the horizon. But yet, Elijah stayed right there. He stood, and when he had done all to stand, he continued to stand there for, and that is what I am encouraging you to do in that thing that God has promised to you in that portion of his word that you've been declaring. I want you to stand according to Ephesians 6. It says stand, and when you've done everything to stand, all you have to do is keep on standing. So now it's the fourth time. Elijah says, go look again, go look again. And so his servant goes out and looks across the horizon and there is still nothing. How many times has the report continued to come back? Not what you were expecting or not what the word of God has promised. And his word works. It always works. God cannot lie. In Hebrews, it tells us that his word is sharp and powerful. It is alive and active. The word of God is so powerful. It is sharp. It is active. Active, it is alive it works it is working it is working even though that report has come back four times now saying that it's not working so he sends him a fifth time go out and look I'm standing I'm standing and when I've done everything to stand I will stand there for so go back and look again and his servant comes back yet a fifth time and says nothing Elijah there's nothing and so he sends him out even a sixth time. How many times do we give up? 
one time. We declare something one time and then we're like, well, I guess it wasn't God's will for my life. I guess it wasn't meant to happen. We are so guilty of that. But we've got to stand and when we've done everything to stand, we need to continue to stand. And so Elijah sends him back the sixth time and the servant comes back and says, Elijah, there is nothing. I see nothing. Now he's already told King Ahab who he defeated, who God showed up mightily before that it was going to rain. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. So whatever that word is that God has spoken in your spirit, don't give up on it. Don't quit on it. Go back and look again. Today is a brand new day. His mercies are new every morning. There's there's new miracles every single day. We need to wake up in the morning expecting that today is going to be the day. This time is going to be the time. So this sixth time, Elijah sends a servant out. This is going to be the time. I know it. I just know this is going to be the time. And a servant came back with a report the sixth time. And the report was, there is nothing. I see nothing. And so Elijah continue to stand and when he had done all to stand there he was still standing on the report of the Lord on the word of God knowing that his word always produces we don't have to fear we don't have to waver we don't have to get in doubt so he tells him again on the seventh time go look go see if there's anything on the horizon this time and so the servant goes out and he looks over the horizon and he comes back with a report. His report is, I see a cloud the size of a man's fist. I see a cloud. It's coming. There's hope on the horizon. The rain is about to come. And so because he stood in faith, believing, unwavering, knowing, continuing to go back and look again, he got to see the miracle of the Lord. But how many times do we give up on that miracle? How many times do we quit on the word of the Lord because we keep getting a report that isn't the report of the Lord and we either fear or we doubt or we give up or we get lazy, one or the other, but the word always works. It will always perform what it is sent to do. Always, always, always. His word said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or a seed out begging for bread. When we speak the word of the Lord, we can guarantee it will happen. So we need to keep going back at that thing. Those things that we've given up on, that we've gotten discouraged in, go back and look again. Go back and look at, Look with faith, expecting to see that cloud the size of a man's fist, seeing something on the horizon. Go back and look every single day. Wake up excited that it's a new day and today is the day for that miracle. I have a, a quick testimony from my daughter-in-law. Mindy, it's so exciting and it goes right along with this passage of Elijah and King Ahab and the rain, the sound of rain. So five years ago, it was prophesied over her that her eyes would be healed. And you know, as simple as she just wore glasses, you know, it's easy to accept that. Well, it's not really any big deal. It's glasses. Everybody wears glasses, you know, no big deal. So it's easy. It was easy for her when she believed that first day and nothing happened to just accept it. Well, at one point along the way, she just got so determined. She just took her glasses off. She's like, I'm not putting them back on again until I see. Well, she couldn't see. She had to put those glasses back on. So she kept going back to that promise, that prophetic word from the Lord that said, you will be healed. She kept going back to it and back to it. And now this is five years later, just this past week at, at a camp meeting, she was prayed over again for her eyes. Her faith rose up and said, I know what the word of the Lord said. I'm going to go look again. I'm going to go check again. Let me check this again. And sure enough, this was the time she was able to come back with the report that her eyes were healed. Like she can see things she wasn't able to see before. And she um, is declaring and believing that this 
is the time. And so she's able to read road signs and little tiny images on the phone and on the person's phone next to her so she can snoop now. <laughs> but she's been healed in her eyes, but it didn't come instantly and she didn't give up. That's the point. She didn't quit. She went back to check again. I want to tell you, go back at that word of the Lord that he promised you and check again today, expecting that today will be the day and every day hereafter. Check again, believing, believing that this is the day that you will see the word of God produce what it says it will produce. We know we can stand in this confidence, just like Elijah, Elijah did and in the face of his enemies. He spoke and he declared the word boldly. Speak the word boldly and don't go back on the word. It's not your problem to make it come to fruition. You don't have the power to make it. All you have to trust is that it's God's name. It's his name and he holds his name even above of his word. So you're, you're declaring his word in his name. He holds it above his name. So his name above his word. So if you're trusting in that name of Jesus, it has to come to fruition. It has to happen. When you sow the word of God, it will produce a harvest. It is a guarantee. Seed time and harvest shall not pass away. When we sow the word, we will reap the word that is what his word says so whatever is whatever you've given up on what that thing might be old you might have looked at it seven times already go back and look again go back and look again today is the day I'm agreeing I'm combining my faith with your faith right now in the name of Jesus that his word will be established and it will produce believe for the ridiculous believe for the impossible his word says his yoke is is easy and his burden is light. So whenever it gets overwhelming and stressful, I just go back to and sow that word into that situation. No, your word says, Lord, that your burden is light and your yoke is easy. I am sowing that into this stressful, overwhelming situation. We need to constantly be going back and looking again. Look at whatever our first initial reaction is. Don't even mind that. Go back and look again at the word and what the word says and the word will produce. Amen. I am so excited, woman of God, what he is going to produce in you today. So go back and look. At, I don't care if it has failed or if it has come back a bad report every single time you've looked before. Look again. I can't even tell you how many testimonies I have heard even just this week about people that have gone back and looked again, stuff they've been believing for for years and God has brought it to for I have just got the Holy Ghost goosebumps right now I can't even begin to tell you how many it's been an incredible amount of people so let's get our faith on women and when we've done all to stand stand there for and keep going every morning when you wake up I just pray that there's an excitement that bubbles up inside of you today's the day today's the day I'm gonna see the supernatural miraculous working power of God in my life in this specific situation that nothing is budged in, nothing is moved in. I'm believing that now is the time. Now is the season. Now is the day. It is going to happen. I love you. Have a very blessed day and we'll talk to you soon.